Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, other waifs and strays, it's Den here. We're at the, where are we? We are in Birmingham, or Brum. Is it right, like yeah, Birmingham. Uh, <laughs> somewhere in the Midlands in the UK, basically. And Ray's been here keynoting for UK and Ireland SAP user group <gasps> conference. It's a big mouthful, is that one, isn't it? It's a long one. It's a long one. And um, go on, you're going to say something. Well, no, I, I think this is uh, my first time out here, so it's really? kind of interesting. We're in the heart of British manufacturing. You think there is some, do you? There is. It's coming back. I was on the plane, right? and I was on the plane with a Rolls-Royce executive, and the interesting thing was she was talking about how they're bringing back the jobs, they're stopping the outsourcing, they're investing in apprentice programs, and in fact, they, they plan to continue to build all their new power plant and engine uh, assemblies here. That means my father, who used to be a toolmaker, might, they might want to get hold of him again because he used to do that stuff, right? They do. They do. They're yeah. reinvesting in the apprenticeships. Right, right. So it, it's significant. You've got to look at the U.S. We are 20 years behind the U.K., and yeah. uh, at least there's some hope on manufacturing coming back. Sure, sure. Which, which is all good news for SAP, isn't it? Because they kind of start from that kind of... And anyway. big SAP shops. Oh, yeah, Rolls yeah. Rolls and Cadbury and yeah, yeah, yeah. Jaguar. Yeah, that have all gone elsewhere in the meantime. <laughs> Sadly to say. Sadly to say. Anyway, they've been talking about a whole load of stuff, and so you know the Hannah myth. Come on, let's do the Hannah myth. What's that? What What is the Hannah myth? The Hannah myth. We are hearing that Hannah has this big pipeline. Yep. Uh, we're hearing that Hannah is ready for customers today, and we're hearing that Hannah is in production. But I think when we talk to system integrators, uh, we're getting a different story. So there could be two theories, right? <laughs> One is the system integrators are totally off. They're not seeing any business, mm. and basically. You know, they're saying, okay, where's the pipeline? Yep. The other option could be SAP's doing all the work and not giving it to the system integrators, and the system integrators aren't seeing the pipeline. Well, that would be the same thing, wouldn't it? I think so. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. I mean, it's, uh, it's funny. I mean, having spoken to Deloitte and to IBM about these things and um, been into some of that detail with these guys, um, they're kind of scratching their heads, right? And SAP's kind of, they don't want to say too much. There's that, and then we're hearing that some of these POCs, they've taken these really big, hairy problems, yeah. and uh, they said, okay, it kind of solves that problem, but we'll talk to you in 12 to 18 months. Yep, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, maybe we're confirming our sources, so. Yeah, 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 well, we think they've done their numbers this year, don't we? So the question is, will they do the numbers next year? Yeah, that's the challenge. But I've seen two HANA boxes here. There are. They do exist. They do, don't they? Was it an HP and an IBM one here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The IBM one looks actually quite nice. It was very sleek and black and... Shiny lights. I think and that's things. the one next door. Is it? All right. I'll okay. go double check. Yeah, but, uh, and SAP seemed very grateful for the fact that IBM had supplied it for, for Bluefin, which is quite funny because there's a story behind that as well. And if you're watching this, John Appleby, you know the story, but we won't go into that fear of embarrassing <laughs> the innocent and the guilty as well. Anyway, <laughs> move, moving swiftly on as we do. Um, consumerization of IT, you talked about that, and people get very confused in. You know, when they hear this expression, it's like, my God, are we going to be having to use that crappy Facebook type thing again, you know? <laughs> well, I think the important thing with consumerization IT is to look at it on three levels. Right. Um, the first one is to think about the consumer side, right? And that is really looking at, is it simple, right? I don't need a manual. Yep. Uh, is it going to be scalable? I don't need to talk to IT to get any work done. Yep. And is it sexy? Am I excited about the product? Yep. Right? Now, that's the consumer side. That's easy. We're seeing that all over the place. People sure. are downloading these apps, putting them in the enterprise. Yeah. But then, is it enterprise class? And then that's the big question. And to be enterprise class, we've got to make it safe. Yep. If we put it in, don't take out another system, don't throw anything into, because you, know, you can't blow up another system. No. Uh, it's got to be secure. You don't want to be on the front page of the newspaper with data breach. Uh, and the last thing is, it's got to be sustainable, not the green, fluffy stuff. Mm. Right, so platform I can build on, something that's going to last three to five years, I can integrate against. So those are the two balancing points, but the third thing that's missing is the fact that we've got business side making a lot of decisions, mm. we've got the IT side trying to keep the lights mm. on, but the problem is the pendulum switching to the business side. Mm. When we look at our data, 5% reduction in IT budgets year over year, yeah. and it is squeezing the IT teams. Yeah. yeah. But guess what? Tech spending is up. Yeah. 18 to 22 percent. Yeah. So, so who's buying? Well, it's a business, isn't it? I mean, it's a no-brainer, really. Yeah. But I mean, I've looked at some of this stuff. I mean, they were show what were they showing this morning? Was it some talent management type thing? Yeah. This morning. I mean, I've looked at sales on demand, and I like it. I like what I see. I mean, I spent, 
I think they gave us like a, 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 over in Valdorf, they gave us like half an hour run through and then play with it, right? And then you go and play with it on your own and all that stuff. I could actually use it, which was a bit surprising because it's SAP. You know, you don't expect to be able to use an SAP thing without a 400 page manual, right? Hey, that was the work of John Wookie. I mean, that was design thinking, yep. use cases, yep. layering it out, the yep. storyboards. I mean, that's classic design thinking, and it's very specific use cases. Right. And some of my colleagues have looked at talent management and career on demand, and they say this looks really quite promising. I mean, what, what, what are you seeing and what you, you've looked at? Is that, is that the feedback that you get from people? I've definitely seen that. I've also seen travel, and it works in the same way. Right, right. So... Have you seen that thing, by the way? Just as an aside, have you seen that there's a there's a Spotify for dummies and it's 355 pages long? Yes. <laughs> Duh. 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 <laughs> so what else can we talk about then? I mean, uh, sorry, let, let's just finish this one out. So, um, you know, at a certain level, SAP is making a good effort on this kind of, I call them kind of situational apps. They're not quite situational. They're a little bit more than that, I think. Um, but these new t styles of application, and what are people saying to you when, when they're talking to you? Do they, do they like them? Do they care about them? Do they want them? Oh, it's really important that SAP has these. Right. Like, these are point apps. I mean, their whole company is being built around this right. that are generating hundreds of millions of dollars just off one specific problem. So think about the Taleos of the world. Yeah. Think about uh, Expensify. Think about Zora. Mm. These guys are building businesses on all these edges yeah. that SAP should be addressing. Right. So if you're trying to be an SAP-only shop, yeah. You had no options before. Right. Now you actually have specific set of applications that you can get to. Yeah. So that's very important, especially, and they're, they're being delivered in the cloud. But that's also going to change the SI game as well, isn't it? Because, I mean, you know, these guys no longer are going to be going in there saying, now listen to us while we do this great change management program for you, by the way, here's my six-figure check request. And, you know, it's not going to happen, is it? No, no, it's going to be a four-figure right. check. Four-figure <laughs> check. There you go, guys. Sorry, <laughs> bit tough out there, isn't it? But there we go. Life's a bitch. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I mean, life is. It's, it's 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 tough. The world has changed fundamentally, and you know, SAP is having to take that medicine for itself. The SIs are going to have to take the same medicine. Consultants are gonna, of all sorts are going to have to take the same medicine. Analysts are going to have to take the same medicine, aren't they? Oh yeah. Oh yes, right. So, but hey, here's the other way to look at this, right? Um, the SIs now have to build IP. And they have the same power to deliver in the cloud right. and reach everybody as well. Right. So the SIs that are going to succeed are the ones that actually can go out and build product, can support a product, and deliver it in the cloud. But do you think that those are going to be the traditional types of guys? Because I, I'm not convinced. I'm personally not convinced because I just don't think they're agile enough. No, I think it's going to be the Aperios, the Blue Wolves, the yep. ones that have been built around cloud-based, yep. and also some of the agile ones. I'd say uh, companies like Cap Gemini are actually pretty agile. Okay, fair enough. So what's the last thing that you're thinking of at the moment? Right now I'm trying to figure out where the end users are on the, uh, in the UK and I side. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to figure out, are they ready to do the upgrades? <coughs> are they interested in making these moves? Or are people still being conservative? And that's the questions I've been asking, and we'll be going through the gala dinner. Well, the thing that, uh, that I heard was that, yes, they're prepared to spend money, but it has to be value driven. Now, that's certainly a hangover from last year, that is for sure true. And, you know, I, I can't believe, well, I don't see the kind of upswing in the economy that in this country that you've seen in the US, for example, from a spending standpoint. So the value message makes a huge amount of sense. To what extent do you think that that's likely to impact patterns of expenditure going forward, or is it purely an economic thing, or is it something else? What do you reckon? Well, I, I think what's happening is because the business side is opening up the purse to right. get specific projects right. done, the more SAP can align with the line of business leaders, yeah. the more successful they will be. Right. But they're gonna have to they're gonna have to be very careful the way in which they do that because you know, the days of those sort of seven and eight and nine figure checks are kind of not quite there, are they? Not in this not no. in this economy. No, anyway. there are no more country club deals. No. Uh, these are relationship, these are point specific, yeah. these have to be about solving a specific business problem. Right. Right. These could be bigger themes, this could be, I got a problem with collaboration mm. and future of work, right. I've got a problem with cross-channel commerce, right. those things become important. Right. But we'll see in a year's time, won't we? That's oh, we when will. we'll know. We will, we'll see you next year. We'll see you next year and we'll talk again. Thanks, Ray. Hey, thanks a lot, Dennis. <laughs> Bye.